Hi, I'm Toya Brasky from Galveston, Texas. My Facebook page is Galveston Psychic Paranormal Researcher. I wanted to come on today to thank you for friending my page. In the last 15 days, I got over 3,000 new friend requests that I accepted. I got over 500 followers and about 1,500 inbox messages. So what I wanted to let you know is I appreciate every one of you who friended me, followed me, or inboxed me. But I do need to tell you that I'm not used to this much attention at once in 15 days. And so I need to let you know that I'm working on answering your messages, but it's impossible for me to catch up with that many people in such a short time. So I will get to you eventually. I also want to tell you that this page forum is strictly about psychic paranormal research. So before you inbox me, Please keep that in mind that this is a professional page. I don't mind you saying hello or asking me questions, but I don't want it to take a unprofessional level, if you know what I mean. So, there have been many people calling my Facebook number, and I want to ask you to stop doing that. Number one, my phone is always on Do Not Disturb. I do not answer those calls. I don't answer audio calls. So please do not call me on an audio call. The other thing that I want to tell you is I am not a fortune teller. I'm not reading cards. I'm not reading crystal balls. I am a authentic psychic medium who is able to channel from usually a picture alone. I don't have to go meet the victim. I don't have to be in the location. I can look at a photograph and usually pick up information and I can call on spirits with telepathy and usually contact them. So I want you to understand that about my page. I can read tarot cards. <laughs> But, I don't really take them as face value to be the absolute truth. They're so generalized that they could almost be a reading for anyone. Now, I do know that people use them and they are able to sometimes give a reading that is very accurate with cards. But, I choose not to do that. I've never used a Ouija board. Um, well, once as a teenager, when we were playing and just having a girl's night out, we took out a Ouija board and we decided to play with it. And <laughs> uh, when we were playing with a Ouija board, a Grateful Dead poster of a coffin flew off the wall. And so we never did it after that. We ran out of the room screaming. But again, with a Ouija board, I don't really feel that that, that is an accurate way to contact spirits. It is something that is subject to a lot of, you know, manipulation of somebody pushing the, um, the board or, you know, making something happen. Now with EVPs, there is nobody in the room. So for me to pick up a spirit that can answer intelligent questions where I ask a question and it answers me back, that is pretty convincing that there is a spirit world. So what I'm doing on my page is electronic voice phenomenon of disembodied spirits. And I want that to be clear about what I do. I have channeled missing people from their photographs. I have done cases for families where their loved one was either murdered 
or committed suicide and they just wanted answers to where they were. Some of those testimonials are on my page. When I first began doing this, I wasn't believed at all. Um, I spent over $2,000 of my own money to try to help a case, a cold case, that was over 40 years old, and instead of helping me, the police department sabotaged me in every way possible. And that was really sad being that out of the kindness of my heart, I spent my own money to try to help them, and they showed up and they talked over my EVPs and ruined all of the work, hours and hours and days of being out on location that could have brought them information about the case. But I can't dwell on what people believe or don't believe or the way that they've treated me in the past. I can only move forward and practice my skills and get better. So I hope that each and every person who is on my page is genuinely interested in psychic or paranormal research. If you're not, then you're on the wrong page. So I wanted to let you know that. And thank you so much. I mean, it means really so much to me that you followed me, that you friended me, that you've left me notes and commented on my photographs that I'm pretty or gorgeous or attractive. That means a lot to someone who is 60 years old. <laughs> so thank you for that.